Well, again, my mushy mites. Now, the good news is that Bodger and Badger, the movie, is definitely coming out this September to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the program since it first aired in 1989. The bad news is, this is the last Bodger and Badger special that will ever, 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 ever be made by George Brind, who has been making these specials. Yeah, that's right, Badger. Hi guys, it's me, George Brind, not to be confused with Cousin George, who looks like me, and appears in We Wish You a Mashy Christmas, the episode, the first Christmas special of Bodger and Badger, the specials, which was released back in December of 2011. Quite clearly, the world that I'm in is different from what is happening in the world of the animated specials of Bodger and Badger. Oh, and of course, the upcoming feature film. And also, quite clearly, that the live action right here, right now, is better than the um, uh, this stop-motion PowerPoint animation which people may say is terrible, but um, it's the way I've done it since um, uh, 2011 when I made the episode Pudsy Mash in November 2011. The episodes from what I saw on YouTube didn't have very many views at all. But for those of you who I hope enjoyed the episodes very much indeed, uh, as a parting gift, Badger will go through some of the greatest moments within the episodes of the Bodger and Badger specials. So, without more ado, Badger, go ahead with um, uh, looking back on some of the greatest moments from the uh, specials. Your best mushy remembrances. I'll try and think of the best occasions. Badger, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Solomon. Do you remember any particular events? What events? You know, the things we got up to. You mean the things you did that were good for you, but at times bad for me and other people like Mrs. Melly? Yeah, those. Well, I do remember the time when in November 2011, when Children in Need was on. Yeah, and it was Mosey's, I mean, an idea in my head that made me think about making that mushed potato tower. It didn't go well in the end in the way of money. Watch your Mosey! Oh, hello, Badge. I'm just about to go bungee jumping with my cheese and elastic and rope. Mercy, cheese isn't very strong material to hold up the rope and elastic so that you can budge it up. You could fall. Well, I'm just about to do it, so prove it. Well, you could try, Mercy, but I'll tell you it wouldn't work. Ready, steady, go. Oh, <laughs> Mercy, you okay? Fine, Badge, just a little bump. Oh, I told you not to budge jump with cheese stands. Anyway, today is children in need, and Simon wants to think of ideas for it. Really? Yes, really. Think, think, think. Uh... Oh, no! I've just thought of a perfect potatoes plan. Your cheese tower has given me an idea for Simon's fundraising store. <laughs> well, here we are, Badge. Yippee! Quiet, Badge. What if Mrs. Melly sees you? Now, keep under sight, OK? OK. Hello! Yes, hello, China. Hello! Here, where are you going in such a rush? Hello? Is that part of the supermarket? Well, I'd like to order 500 packets of mashed potato. What's your salmon? Oh, hi, Badge. What, salmon? Well, not really. Everyone is setting up their stalls and I haven't got a sausage. Well, don't worry. Leave it to me. And that's what I'm worried about. Yep, bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Stop! Right. Unload, please. Right, let's go. Thank you. Hey, hey! How tall can we make it? Well, the sky's the top Can I have you all your attention? I would like to unveil my guest at the weight of the cake stand. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? What? Mash potato? Badger! Oh my, wow! What's this tower doing here? I did. Brilliant. A tower of mashed potato. I love it. I think you deserve first prize, Badger. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Wogan. Mr. Badger! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh. Oh no! <laughs> wow! 
haven't had this much fun in years. Five hundred pounds? I wonder what I'm going to spend that on. Hey, you! Are you Bedger? Bodger. Well, you owe me some money, do I? Yes, £499 for 500 packets of mashed potato. <gasps> Badger! Sorry, Solomon. Well, at least you got a pound to spend. Thank you, Badger. <laughs> Thank you very, very much indeed. I'll tell you what, though, Solomon. If I didn't get 500 packets of mashed potato, I wouldn't have been able to make that tower. Maybe, but it still didn't go well in the way of the prize money. It's just about as bad as the time when my younger cousin George came to visit at Christmas in 2011. Oh yeah, I remember. Hello, this is Seagull's Rest. How can we help you? Oh hello cousin, it's me. Hi cousin George. How are you? Fine. Never felt better. Well I'm at Poddleford South and I need picking up. Could you come as soon as possible? Alright George. Well Badger, I'm just going to collect him from Poddleford South. Keep an eye on the turkey. Alright Solomon, see you later. See you later, Badge. Hello, Badger. George! You said to Solomon you were at the station. What's he going to say when he gets back? Well, it's an excuse because I want to keep him away for a little while so that I can do whatever I like. I've heard that you are a lover of mashed potato like me. Definite potatoes. <laughs> Is that some roast potatoes I can smell? You are pretty little on that, no. That gives me an idea. No, George, I don't think... Aha! <laughs> idea potatoes. Right, let's have some fun. George! Oh, no. Aha! Ha ha I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> George! Yes, Badger? You've got to stop. You're ruining the Christmas dinner. Well, catch me if you can. <laughs> 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 Right, let's set a trap for that silly badger. <laughs> George! George! <laughs> what? This means what? Come on, Mercy. Food bike! <laughs> what on earth is going on? George! What are you doing here? I was so this mess! My bad. <laughs> oh, hi, Cuss. I was just... Enjoying the meal. ENJOYING THE MEAL?! You've ruined it! That was Christmas dinner for Lord Fortoroid! Oh, dear. And I don't know what you were doing, Badger. I asked you to look after the turkey, not to throw it around the room. Oh, well, it wasn't... RUT! OUT! Both of you. While I get this mess cleared up! In the end, I sort of didn't mind when we changed the Christmas dinner because of Lord's Fultorized carriage getting stuck in the snow. But did you mind when you thought you were invisible and so you could take off your clothes? Oh heavens, don't talk about that. I genuinely thought I was invisible. You must have been crazy at that time. Well, you were, pretending you created an invisibility potion. That super figs, if you take too much, it gives you pain in your tummy. Mark my, my words. Can you see me now, Badger? No, can't see you. What about now? No, still can't see you. Now, Badger? No. What? Not even if I take off my shirt? No, not even if you take off your shirt. That's brilliant! Well, Badger, now that you've told me that I'm totally invisible, I can go and put on a show. Badger, what are you doing? Don't worry, Mrs. Nelly! Well, the eye doesn't see the heart won't grieve over! Oh, now I can do anything! Now I'm invisible! I can throw the course into the wind! I can just throw on anything that matters! I can be free and I'm incumbent! And nobody in Pumpkin will know! Ha! 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 Yeah. What did you do that for? Just going to take a bit then. Well, Bodger, yes. How dare you come and put on a show that involves taking off your clothes? Yeah, well, I know the what. What do you mean, taking off my clothes? I, I, I am invisible, aren't I? Well, I wish I could say you were, but unfortunately, you're not. Ah! Oh! Oh! You must walk. Give me that. Give me that quickly. 
Yeah. That is disgusting! Can you still see me? Yeah. What? But I thought that stuff was meant to make you invisible! Well, not exactly invisible, but yeah. But if that's what I think it is, it'll make you disappear. Read what it says on the bottom. Uh, hang on, mate. Wait. Super fix mixed with mashed potato. <gasps> super fix mixed with mashed potato! But a super fix is meant to make you not feel so good. I'll chunk a whole bottle of it. Uh, Mrs. Melly, my tummy doesn't feel very good. I... <coughs> Would you excuse me for a minute, Mrs. Melly? I need... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that, Badger. That was the most embarrassing day in my life. I feel sorry about that. Oh, thanks, Badger. Not. What? Nothing. Do you remember another time during Children in Need when you had trouble painting a spotty bench? That was a lot worse than that, too. There. Oh no. My hands! They're stuck! Maybe pushing the bench while the paint was still wet wasn't a good idea after all. Badger! Coming, Sawbird! <laughs> oh no. This is no good. Watch your sob. Oh. Badger, give me a hand to try and get my hands off this thing. Okay. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, Oh no! Now I've got my foot stuck in a bucket! Okay, Badge, grab onto the bucket and pull. Okay then. One, two, three. <laughs> Sorbon, you okay? Fine, Badge. Except for ending up in a hole in this stubborn old tree that never seems to want to grow neatly or slowly. Now, if I can just. <coughs> Oh no! The whole small! I'm stuck again! <laughs> just, just do us a favour and get some help! Try Millie! Okay! <coughs> oh no! Not me as well! Oh well, I need help after I've helped Simon. <laughs> oh, this is hopeless! Oh my goodness! Never mind, oh my goodness! Please! Get me out! Alright, Simon, keep calm. Let's pull together. What? One, two, three. Oops. Has a rip somewhere? I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of it. What? Oh no! Don't tell me I've got a hole in my spotty potatoes. How can I want to see my pants? I'll have to get changed as soon as I'm out. Come on then! Let's be having you. One, two, three. <laughs> Thanks, Badge. Now let's see if we can get this bucket off you. Careful. Minnie, grab the other side of him. You're not going to stretch me, are you? Well, I suppose it's the only way we can try and get this bucket off. Right, ready, Millie? Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Because those problems happened, we were nearly late for the opening of the park, but we got there just in time. Don't you remember the time when you sleepwalked during the Easter of 2013? Yeah, and I had eaten all the Easter eggs. Solomon? Solomon? Can you hear me? Oh no. He's sleepwalking! Simon! Wake up! Simon! Wake up! Simon! Simon, come back! Oh no. He's gone out the door. I bet he's after the Easter eggs. Gotta get a move on. Simon! Wake up! You're sleepwalking! Oi! Cut that racket out! I'm trying to get some sleep! It's just gone past three o'clock in the morning! Sorry, mate, but I need to go after Simon. Well, I thought so. Simon, you're eating one of the Easter eggs for the hunt tomorrow. No, 
He's eating the Easter eggs. Simon! Simon! It's no use. I must stop him somehow. He's eaten about a dozen. If he eats more, there'll be none left. Simon! Simon! Come back! Come back! Simon! Simon! Wake up! Please! Wake up! Simon! Oh no. Simon's going to wake up in 30 minutes. I must replace these two eggs with something. Think, think, think. Aha! <laughs> <coughs> ah! What's that chocolate doing on my face? I didn't eat any chocolate when I woke up. Bad job! Well, like I said before, Mrs. Manny had a big outcry from the audience. Are you scared of heights? I think you'll find I am, Badger. Remember that time when I went up in a hot air balloon? There. I think that's everything. Badger? Yes, Simon? Have you seen the sand bag? Oh, no. Simon! Let go of the burner chain! It's too late, Badge. I'm up. Oh, no. It's Millie. Millie! Simon's in a catastrophe with his balloon. So I see. Really? He's going across the field. I know, Badge, but I'll try and run away to follow it. It's no good, Millie. Really. I think we could lose him at any minute. You're too low, Simon! All on the burner chain! It's cut out, Millie! I'm coming down! Try chugging out the sandbags then! Okay! Just like that Fun and Sam episode! Huh! Help me! I'm going to crash! Simon! Gain attitude! Chuck out more sandbags! Did you say chuck out more sandbags? Yeah! Merely! There are only two left! Huh! Merely! I'm still going to crash! Looks like Simon's never gonna land safely! Merely! That's trouble ahead! Simon! You're going to crash! I know, Badge! I don't know how I'll stop it! Whoa! That is the most stupidest day I've ever had! It took a long time for me to get out of all that mess. Do you remember when Luigi, my Italian budget friend, came to visit? Oh yeah, and the dinner went up in smoke. There, that's all the food sorted. Now, Badger and Luigi, the guests will be arriving in an hour, so I'm relying on you to keep an eye on the Christmas pudding. Okay, okay Solomon. I'm bored. So am I. Well, how would you like some mashed potato and spaghetti whilst we're waiting? Are you sure that's wise? Of course it is. Just 15 minutes. We'll eat until it's ready. Okie dokie. <laughs> mm. That was lovely. I agree. Uh, what's that smell? It smells like smoke. <laughs> oh no. It's the oven! We've left it for too long! What are we going to do? Well, we're going to have to make the mashed potato and spaghetti runny enough to put the fire out. Well, that was close. Yeah, but the Christmas pudding doesn't look so good. 
What's we got to do now? There's only one thing for it. There. Another job well done. Badger? How's the Christmas? Pudding! Well, that was good. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it from our final Bodger and Badger special. Our final? Well, until the movie. What do you mean, our final special? You might want to ask George Brin later on. Anyway, to end this off, here's a montage of different moments from some of the other specials. Badger, don't! Thanks, Mr. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Badger! <laughs> oh! No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Ridiculous. The ring is mine! It's mine! Boy, precious. It oh no! They must be. Mashed potato! Do the last! It's mine, Badger! It'll give me great! Simon Badger! Well, my mushy mates, that's it from us. It's goodbye from me, and goodbye from Solomon. You better say goodbye, Solomon. And it's the first time you've ever done so. Say goodbye to our bodging boys. Bodging boys? Uh, an appropriate name for the people who watched you in these episodes. Alright, goodbye, my bodging boys. Anyway, I need to go and see if I can sort out some stuff for Seagull's Rest. Like I said, business is a bit dry. And I have a pipe to fix. And it's time to say goodbye to my mushy mates. Hey, Badge! Oh, hello, Marcy. I find it surprising that you were barely in these animated specials. What do you mean, barely? Dull. Oh, I'll explain later. Anyway, you're just in time to say goodbye to all our cheesy chums. Simon has already said goodbye. Say goodbye, Marcy. Goodbye, Marcy. Dull. Oh, see you later, mashed potato. And before we go, just after the following end credits, look out for the trailer for Bodger and Badger the Movie. The final chapter of a badger loving legend. But for the specials, it's last time. As they say in the movies, that's all, folks. In a small seaside town near Brighton, by the name of Puddleford, in a small street, in a bed and breakfast called Seagull's Rest, lives our job man, Simon Bodger, and his pet badger, who messes around with mashed potatoes. What? You mean not this? Badger don't! Badger! In a plan to improve business, he and Badger are about to witness terrible things. Have we held these rings up to the light? Ah, Badger! Oh, 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 Bobbucks! My ring! I think you mean my ring. Our oh, ring. No! No one is touching Badger. No one is stuffing their hands down his neck. Not for anything. Oh, the truth comes out now, does it, Badger? So you really did have a badger with you all this time. I will report you to the council. I can almost see it on the front page of the Puddlefoot Gazette. You will be ruined, Badger, and I'll get rid of you once and for all. Whoa, whoa! Ah, that dog! Uh oh. We are going to send in the exterminators. What was that? Attention! This is Death Exterminators. We have reason to believe that you are harboring a wanted badger. Please come out with your hands up, or we will force that you. Badger? Badger, wake up! <laughs> What's going on? I think you fainted. 
featuring the voices of George Brent as the film's main characters. Badger. Well done, Badger. Badger. Must potato. Mousy. I'm here, Badger. China. Report. Millie. Time to catch up with them. Mrs. Jabell. Your mashed potato antics cause nothing but trouble for me. Mrs. Millie. If that is all, Badger, then you can go away. And Mr. Depp. No, Badger. Let's see what I can do with you. Put up your hands. Bodger and Badger, the movie. <laughs> Out on YouTube, September 30th. It's the final chapter.